Hey Pokemon Champions, Champion Blaze here, and the most recent Scarlet and Violet trailer introduced us to the legendary Pokemon Meridon and Karaidon. But now the question remains, what will the third meta legendary be for this generation? Today we're going to be discussing possibilities including its design aspects, its themes and its concepts that it could embody, and by doing so we'll be taking a look at the themes and aspects embodied by Meridon and Karaidon, as well as analyzing past meta legendary Pokemon such as Kyurem, Zygarde, and Rayquaza of the like. By doing so, we might be able to get a good sense of what this third legendary Pokemon could be all about in the upcoming Scarlet and Violet games. Without any more hesitation, let's jump right into the discussion and let's get started. So to begin this discussion, it's important to understand the aspects and themes that embody Karaidon and Meridon. Starting with Karaidon, it's obviously the Pokemon of the past. It's got a more regular dragon, traditional style look to it. It's more ancient, it's more historic, it's more representative of the past and its history. Its design represents more of a traditional European style dragon, and it's also got Native American like feathers and plumage on its body. But if we look at Maraidon, it's more futuristic and robotic and animatronic. It's more technological, clearly representing the future. We can even see electricity and plasma flowing through its body, and its legs are even designed as turbo boosters. So with that in mind, we have the main themes of past and future represented in these two Pokemon. Or, some people are even saying tradition versus innovation, which is also another great theme for these games. But with that said, what could be the main themes and aspects for the middle third legendary of this generation? I believe that this third legendary will be an omniscient, omnipotent, time-related deity. Now, it may not be a deity per se, or a straight-up god similar to that of Dialga, but I do believe that its concept and themes, as well as its powers and abilities, will mirror that of Dialga. Now, we already have a time-related godlike Pokemon. Obviously, that's Dialga. So what could this Pokemon do that makes it stand out? Well, Dialga is the overseer of all of time, and its counterpart, Palkia, is the overseer of all of space. But with this new third legendary Pokemon, I believe that it will be the overseer of the entirety of the timeline, continuous flow of time and history. Now that does sound very similar to Dialga, but the thing that will make this Pokemon different is that it will be able to oversee the past and future as well as the present and know of all events past and future. Now many psychic Pokemon share this ability, but I believe what will make this Pokemon even stronger and let it surpass the power of other Pokemon is that just like the Sorcerer Supreme in Avengers Endgame who warns Dr. Banner of all of the possibilities of alternating reality by playing with time and playing with events and the Infinity Stones, I believe that's what this Pokemon will oversee. In addition to just overseeing the entirety of the flow of time, it will be the protector of timelines going astray, causing alternate realities, causing the multiverse to go into havoc. So I believe this Pokemon will be a time protector instead of more of a time ruler like Dialga. As for its typing, I do believe that this Pokemon would also be a dragon type, like I've speculated that Karaidon and Meridon will be. But if it was a dual-typed Pokemon, I do believe that it would be a psychic dragon type that would be the most fitting typing for this Pokemon. But those are just my thoughts on what the third middle legendary of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet could be. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and what ideas you would have for a third legendary Pokemon. With that being said, make sure you train hard and I will catch you guys later.